Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Thursday's art enrichment video. This week we are doing animals. Today we're actually not making an animal, but that's okay. Uh, this is a two part video. So today we are going to be making a landscape that our animal will go on top of. Our animal we will make on Friday during my live on YouTube. I want to see you guys right here on YouTube at 2 p.m. to make a cute little fox. Today we are going to be making a landscape. I want you guys to go online, go to Google, type in the landscape, and see all the gorgeous different things that pop up. I found one there that was hills with a sun setting. I took that as my inspiration, and then I made my landscape. My materials today is a little bit different, something you might not find at your house, but remember, use what you have. If you've got colored pencils or markers or paint, use that. You, your artwork does not have to look like my artwork. I want it to look like yours. So find a landscape that you like, that you think a fox would fit into really well, and make that landscape. My video today hopefully will inspire you to do something creative. I want to flip you guys over and show you how to make this landscape. Okay, so here are my supplies I am going to be using today. I have myself my mess mat. I have a white piece of construction paper today. And I've got supplies that you might have not seen before. You might not even have it in your house. That is okay. If you don't have these supplies, no big deal. I just really, really wanted to break into some of my art supplies that I just had sitting on the shelf and weren't getting used. So these are chalk pastels. They're two different brands of chalk pastels. They work kind of a little differently. Some of them are softer, some of them are harder. They'll give me different colors. And then this is an oil pastel. They might have similar names, but they two, they do two very different things. These don't mix well together. So I'm just going to use my chalk pastels. What you might possibly have at home are going to be oil pastels. You know that gorgeous art box that sometimes you get for Christmas or birthdays and it has like color pencils and markers and paint and then it's got things that look like crayons but they're not crayons. Those are going to be oil pastels. So that's why I pulled these out to show you. But I'm going to set them aside for now, and I'm going to be using my chalk pastels. You use whatever you have at your house. Okay, if you have markers, color pencils, watercolor paint, it is up to you. You make your background any way you want. Here is my gorgeous chalk pastels. Yes, they are broken in half because they are well loved, is what I call it. Set them aside, set it aside. Now, I went online and I looked up different images. I looked up landscapes and I found a really cool idea. I want to do some hills with the sun setting over here. And over here is where I'm going to put my animals. I'm going to have my gorgeous sunset right here with a nice dark sky so that I can add some stars. That's my idea. I want you to go look on uh, Google or some kind of search engine, type in landscapes, see what pops up, see what inspires you. If you want to, you can do the same landscape as me. If you want to find your own, you can do your own. Remember last week we already talked about landscapes and you know about a bunch of different kind of landscapes. The animal I'm going to do tomorrow is going to be a fox. I really want to see you guys on my live tomorrow. I think it should be really, really fun. 2 p.m. All right, let's get started. Another supply I'm going to use is a pencil, and that's just to help mark out where I want things to be. So I want to have a really, really big, big hill. I want it to be across my whole paper going up. 
I know it's a little bit hard for you guys to see. And then I'm going to have another hill back here. And I'm going to have the sun setting over here. Alright, I could even do more hills here if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to start off with this olive green tone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rub my chalk pastel across the paper and I'm going to get um, a simple color across the paper, but I won't be done at that point. There we go. There is layer one of my color. I'm going to go in with this light, light green right here near the edge. And now I'm going to add a medium green. Okay, this is just like step one of the hills. I've got my color laid out where I want it to. So right here is where I'm going to have my sun. That's why the lightest color is here. And as you go further back, it gets darker and darker and darker. Now here comes the fun part with chalk pastels. I'm going to get my hands messy. I'm going to rub the color into the paper. There we go. I did not get enough chalk right here, so I'm going to come back in with my dark and layer it up. There we go. I think this is pretty gorgeous. This is why I love chalk pastels. It kind of gives me like this hazy kind of fuzzy glow and I love it. Okay, now I'm going to come in here and do my sun. Remember I'm doing my sun over here because this is where I'm going to put my little fox. First I want to clean off my finger. There we go. And now I'm going to come in with my lightest yellow that I have. And then a slightly darker one. And this kind of gives it like a glowing effect. And now my darkest yellow. To help brighten up the center, I'm going to go in there with my white. There we go. I like it. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to come in with a lightish orange. Go around the sun. Mix in some yellow too. Okay, there I laid out all of my colors. Now I'm gonna go in with my fingers and rub and blend everything together. Now I really wanna make this a little bit darker, but I don't have any more darker blues, so I'm gonna go in with my black. Okay, I really, really, really like this. So um, whenever I rubbed my finger, I always rubbed it out. So it kind of looks like my sun is glowing out. I did save one oil pastel because I'm going to use this and I'm going to make some stars. Oh. I think this is so very, very, very cute. I hope this inspires you. Um, I went all out on this one. I used all of my art techniques that I have learned over the years. I know about value blending. I know about movement on the paper. These are all things that I learned at art school. I want you to take inspiration from any kind of landscape picture that you find and make it your own. Please don't think that your image needs to look like my image. I just really wanted to go for it today because I also want to be a happy little creator. So 
find an image, uh, draw it out first, color it in, and tomorrow on the live, we will make a fox that'll go right on top of this. Okay, guys, happy creating!